tell you something, kid. Everybody gets one chance to do something great. Most people never take the chance, either because they're too scared or they don't recognize it when it spits on their shoes. This is your big chance. Word sauce. Word sauce. Word sauce. Word sauce. My name is Wesley Price. I'm from San Jose, California and Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Uh, I played bass in Word Sauce. Well, I moved to San Luis Obispo, California uh, and I love playing music. I really wanted to get a, get a band together and uh, I had a good idea of what I wanted to do but I wasn't sure. And I just started meeting musicians and trying to figure out what we can do. And then I met Billy. My name is Billy G. I'm from Frankfurt, Delaware. And I play the drums. Yeah, I met Wes in like 2008. And we started just kind of jamming. Like he played bass and I played drums. It was kind of meant to be. We, uh, we just had a couple practices and knew we had to get a crew of people in. So we uh, met some people from school in the music program and uh, put together word sauce. Yeah, my name's Kevin, I'm from San Diego. I play guitar. My name is Eric Madsen, AKA Immortal, AKA DJ Immortal. I'm from San Luis Obispo, California, born and raised. I play turntables and word sauce, also play guitar, keys, drum pads, a little bit of everything. My name is Sam Franklin, I play the saxophone. My name's Sean, AKA Sean Bon Jovi, AKA Sean David Tasselhoff. Uh, I play guitar and word sauce. Um, born in Visalia, California, mostly raised there, but I've been in San Luis area for the last Baker's Dozen. <laughs> My name is Rick uh, Richard Lofton. I was born and raised in Ventura County, California. Um, Camarillo I was born, grew up in Ojai, California. Uh, I'm MC and producer for Word Sauce. You know, we got our like our full lineup and we were finally comfortable with all the players we had and you know and we had the most talented crew in the world at this point in my opinion and uh, we just we felt like we finally had the material ready to record a full length album. This album that we just finished is kind of a culmination of the last six or seven years of all of our lives. Word Sauce has been a band for around six or seven years and all the music that we've worked on is finally uh, materializing in this album. Uh, there's definitely a lot of energy behind it uh, from, from each individual standpoint, but more so, I mean, kind of the concept of, of what this album is, is, is all of everybody's individual energies coming together for, for one sound, so. Last summer before doing our first big tour where we actually all together in the same city for the first time in, in over two years, and uh, in the last year since we've had that, we've progressed so much. We had our first full-length tour. Man, tour was awesome. You know, it's all of us living in a bus, brushing our teeth in Walmart parking lots, people looking at us, you know, ordering pitchers of iced coffee at Denny's, uh, <laughs> you know, late night campfire jams until four in the morning, which, you know, brought about new songs. Um, meeting all kinds of people from every walk of life. The day the trailer broke down, like one of the most hectic, intense days of my life. It's not so good when a trailer tire falls off, especially driving along Highway 1 and mountains and stuff. That day said a lot about us in that, you know, half of us were split up trying to find a mechanic to fix the trailer and we were failing at every turn. 
but still managed to just have a fun, weird day. And then when we finally got back to the other half of the band that was abandoned on the side of the highway in the middle of nowhere, they too had had an interesting, fun day. And I think that just said a lot about our whole tour. We were all just kind of stuck together but didn't have any fallouts, you know, it was just, just a good hang, you know? It really just showed me how tight of a crew we were because we were all living together on a bus for five weeks straight and it was probably one of the greatest months of all of our lives and uh, no one complained, no one bitched at all and it was just music every night and every day was talking about this show the night before. Important message, always make sure your bearings are greased in your wheel hubs. I will tell you that if anyone goes on tour, check your bearings and make sure they're greased. I'm real excited for the uh, the release show that we have planned. Um, you know, it's going to be definitely a timely a timely night. Uh, you know, Slow Brew, which is a kind of a historical venue in this area, is closing down, and we got one of the last weekends to play that venue. So that's definitely a special night. Um, we're going to see what we can do about getting every every feature on the album out to perform on that night and really kind of putting together a, a solid and memorable performance that we probably won't be able to recreate any other time so it's it's a state of mind where you're like totally focused and like kind of absorbed in the task at hand to the point that like you're just flow you, you know you're flowing with it you know you sort of lose your perception of time you aren't thinking about real like your your mind's kind of clear of anything else and of any uh like any other concerns or worries or thoughts about life you're just you're 100 percent focused at the task at hand and like you, you become sort of one with it you know that's when we do best is by playing live shows that's i feel like that's where we where we excel is in the live scene um our album's awesome i love our music but the energy we bring live is it's that's where that's where we make fans. I'd like to uh, be able for all of us to constantly tour, you know, make it a consistent thing all over the country, all over the world. Um, I want to make another city, you know. I want to get right back in the studio would be ideal, um, and uh, just keep doing what we're doing, just over and over again. You know, I want to all be able to, you know, quit our day jobs so to speak and have the work off just support ourselves, you know. This album means a lot to me because I've the band together, like, we are super tight. Like, we've been so close for the last five years that this album means a lot to all of us. The album to me means progress. It means that um, like what half the album is about, no matter what we all have going on in our daily lives and our daily grinds, Everyone has that. And the album to me is about still doing what we love to do and making progress in that and just continuing through life. You know, we, we all have our own struggles, but it's about finding something that you can hold on to and you can relate to and something that helps you get through the day to day. Really how, it, how it's been turning out is it sounds great. You know, we're happy with, with where it's gone. So that's, I mean, that's what it means to me is just following through and, and uh, getting the most out of the time that we've put in, so. It's years of hard work, you know, just all put together in one one tiny package. That's it, dude. It's just a lot of hard work, and it's just finally, we have it, you know, and it's time, that's it. That's what it means to me.